All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's Hightower5000 here today, bringing you a Lair of Tarn Razor Lore mini quest guide. The requirements for this quest are you must have completed the Haunted Mine quest. You must also have level 40 Slayer, which cannot be boosted. There are no official items required for this quest, however, as this quest does involve a bit of combat or being attacked, it is recommended that you bring armour and weapons, along with food and potions. You also want to bring a hundred coins to access a bank halfway through if you want to access more food. The armour and weapons is really up to you and depending on your combat level. The final boss, level 79, is weak to air spells in the first phase and then thrown weapons in the second phase, so if you are lower level you might want to make use of that. If you're a higher level like myself, then I'd recommend just going with whatever combat style you're comfortable with, as you should be able to overpower the boss without any difficulty. You do want to bring as much food as possible as you will be getting attacked along the way to the boss. Tarn's Lair has got many obstacles in it and also many monsters like skeletons which can be up to level 100 and they will do damage to you. As I said there is a bank on the way to the boss which you can get some more food out of. I'd also recommend bringing an emergency teleport. If you are doing this mini quest to enchant your salve amulet I'd recommend bringing that along as well as you can enchant it at the end of this mini quest. The enemies to defeat during this quest are the boss itself which is level 79. Within that room there will also be level 65 terror dogs, two of them, which you don't necessarily have to kill but they will be attacking you. And then along the way you'll be taking lots of damage from traps and monsters as I've just said. Finally, once you're ready, make your way to the location shown on screen which is the abandoned mine to the west of Birdie Rot. There are many ways of getting there, I'd recommend using the Birdie Rot Teleport with Draken's Medallion if you have access to that. If not, you can use the Canifus Lodestone and travel through the swamp. You can also use Mortot and Barrow's Teleports if you've got them. If you're fortunate enough to have the Ring of Slaying, then you can actually skip this navigation part which I'm going to be showing during this mini quest and you want to skip to the timestamp on screen. With the Ring of Sling, you just want to select option number 4, Tarn Slayer, and you'll be teleported straight to the boss fight. Please note that this quest guide will be using commentary which will not be in real time. This is because it's very fast moving and very fast paced, so it might be worth you watching the full video first, then doing this mini quest yourself. Once you arrive at the quest start point, you want to climb over the minecart to your west. Once you've done that, you want to enter into the cave to the west. Once inside this cave, do note there are some aggressive monsters. You want to head up to your north. And then there'll be a passageway at the end which you want to enter on through. We're now entering into Tarn's Lair which is a bit of a maze before we get to the actual boss fight. You want to use the map on screen and follow the blue line. This will eventually get you all the way to the boss room. However, along that line there are many different obstacles which we need to pass. First of all, there are the monsters, so you want to keep going at quite a pace while going through this. When you do reach the bank, feel free to wait there, restore some life points, get some more food out if you need to. The obstacles themselves, there are quite a few. Let's start with the traps on the floor. These are the square tiles. How to defuse these is right click and search on them. They will not give any indication away on your minimap. Graphically, they look slightly darker around the edges than normal tiles. If you do stand on them, you will take roughly 100 hit points in damage. The next trap is the spikes on the wall. These do give you a lot more damage, up to a thousand. How to spot these? You're going to want to rotate your camera a lot from left to right, and this is why I'm doing this commentary post, because I was doing a lot of that and was getting a bit confused. But if you do this left to right, you will see within the wall that there are some spikes. Again, to defuse these, you just want to right click and search. Spikes along the wall tend to be in corridors which are only one tile wide. Once you make it to the bank, I recommend refilling any of your prayer points or life points and then withdrawing some more food for the next part of the mini quest. So continuing on north from the bank here, it's pretty much the same as before the bank. 
You want to move relatively quickly just to continue to get past the monsters. There are some spike traps on the walls and there is some tile traps on the floor. Again, just look out for these and you can see that I'm doing so as I make my way to the west. We've now entered the log trap room. What you want to do is head just south of the passage entrance and then you want to start to jump over the southeasternmost pillar and then you want to continue along to your west until you get to the other side of the room. When you get onto the western ledge, you will see a button on the floor which you want to search and this will disable the hanging log above. You then want to jump back two of the pillars you just jumped across and then you want to head north. You want to do this rather quickly because the hanging log which you've just disabled is on a timer. That timer will eventually expire and then that could push you down to the floor below. If this does happen, just follow the red line back to the blue line and continue on from there. We're now coming into a room which is quite long and narrow. It's got a passage to the north and to the south of the room. You want to use the northern one, however, do be aware that there are blocks which will push you into the gap in the middle and down to the floor below. To avoid this, you just need to time your running perfectly. Do take as much time as you need with this and you can also use the surge capability. Beware that in this next room there will be monsters that will be attacking you through mage, range and melee. So we're now into another room with pillars. You want to just cross this room diagonally starting in the northwestern corner. Jumping along one to your east, then one to your south, then one to your east, then one to your south. Then one to your east. You then need to jump over on to the ledge to your east. You then want to exit down the passageway to the east. You'll now enter a room with no monsters. This is the final room before the final boss, so get ready for combat. Make sure that your life points and prayer points are fully regenerated. And again, if you are using air spells, you only want to do this within the first phase, and then you want to use throwing weapons in the second phase. It will be very clear within the boss fight what the two phases are. You simply kill turn once, and then you do it again. Once you're ready to start the fight, enter the passageway to the north. You will then go into a cutscene. Once the cutscene ends, you will start to get attacked. You just want to focus on Tarn itself. Don't bother about the Terror Dogs. If you are taking a lot of damage from these Terror Dogs, feel free to kill these first. They will not respawn in. As you can see, I'm just focusing on Tarn himself. Do note that if you are struggling, there are some fire lit torches in the middle of the room, which can be used to safe spot. Once you've killed Tarn, the passageway to the north will open, enter through this, and then you'll enter into Tarn's office. On the table will be Tarn's diary. Go ahead and take this, and there we go, that is the mini quest complete. Congratulations, you've completed layer 
of Tarn Razor Lore Mini Quest. You're awarded with 5000 Slayer XP, Tarn's Diary, the ability to enchant Salve's Amulet, which gives a 20% bonus of accuracy and damage against undead, and then access to Terror Dogs in Tarn's Lair. If you are wanting to enchant your Salve Amulet, use this on Tarn's Diary, and this will give you the Salve Amulet E enchanted. For exiting out this cave, you can go back the way we came, or I'd highly recommend just teleporting back out. That's all for this mini quest guide, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave a like rating and subscribe if you are new around here. Go down into the description below and check out some of my quest series playlists where I'm sure I can help you out with another quest. Please check out my social media links as well. Any support you can show me on any of those would be greatly appreciated. And that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Hightower5000, and I'm out.